Well, hello all. Here is a fairly large Port Jackson tree, which I'd like to ring bark. Let's see how easy it is to ring bark this tree. So I'm going to use an, a saw at first. So let's time it on the video. I'm going to go all the way around. Now, just sawing the bark all the way around. Next, I take my axe and I just peel off the bark to get it started. Then I take a knife and pull the bark off, stick it in, and twist it off. I pull it down about six inches. Now they are missed the spot, so I'm just going to saw the last little bit. Right, so there the job is basically done. But, so the bark is the phloem, the wood is the xylem. I want to make sure that there's none, there's no fibers adhering to this tree that could cause it to regrow. Especially cambium, which is the stuff, the meristematic growing tissue that will regrow bark so I just go and scrape it a little bit to make sure that all the way around there's no cambium left that could regrow some bark so I'm just making sure that all the bark is perfectly off this tree So you don't want to leave even one strand of, of, the, of the cambium to regrow. So I'm just making sure that I just look like I've done a proper job. So there, that's done. That didn't take too long. Think of how long it would have taken to cut down that tree. My hands feel all sticky. Why? I think. You see this bark? carries sugar down to the root. The xylem or wood carries water up to the tree. Now the tree doesn't know that it's dead but its circulation has been cut off. No sugar can get to the roots of the tree. So this tree will continue to stand here. It may even stand here and look like it's alive for, for uh, a long time. But in fact it's just dead. It's your 
firewood that is slowly gonna die and dry out and in the meantime it's not taking up space on the ground and don't think that just because it, yeah you know it can take a year for this tree to completely dry out and die out and it could even take a year and a half but in the meantime it's occupying a space here that is preventing the regrowth of other alien trees so it might you say also prevent the regrowth of the indigenous Fainbost in this case, but the Fainbost doesn't seem to want to regrow here. So at the moment, this area is all just grass behind us. I don't think we're stopping the regrowth of anything. So that was ring barking or girdling this this big tree. Um, let's do this one, and I won't. Let's do that one just for the fun of it, so that we've got both of them there. Get rid of the grass, start cutting. Take our axe, hit it at the junction, just to peel off the first bit of bark. Peel off the bark. This bark seems to be peeling quite nicely and cleanly. Clean it up. Make sure there are no strands of growing tissue. And there we are. Just pull your bark back about six inches, and it all this tree will never be able to rejoin that and regrow so just look how massive these two trees are And there we go, that didn't take long at all.